Quick response you guys got in the seventh inning after Yelich uh, made it a one-run game uh, was very big. Talk about that. Yeah, well, that was Scooter. You know, he's done that for us a lot throughout the year, but we had some good at-bats leading up to that. Um, you know, um, th that was that was really big. Um, you know, Soria is really throwing the ball good for them. A lot of guys are, and uh, Scooter had a great at-bat keeping it fair down the right field line, and, um, you know, that gave us a little breathing room, and against that uh, lineup right now, you need everyone you can get. Top uh, four hitters in your lineup today, I think we're on base 14 times, and none bigger than Peraza. He's got four homers this month. What's been the secret to his power? Half his homers have come in August. Well, you know, he's a strong kid. You know, he's he's uh, getting stronger every year. He's a young man. He's, he's 24 now, but... Uh, you know, he's just becoming a stronger person, and uh, the ball jumps off his bat. He makes a lot of contact, and, um, you know, he's going to hit a few. That's not, I don't think that's ever going to be his uh, forte, but, you know, it's certainly uh, a part of his game. I think he's going to be a, a guy who ends up a 15 or 20 home run guy eventually. Disco uh, had the one inning that he, uh, he struggled in, got out of the jam with yeah. just the one run, but... Uh, it felt like he pitched better than his numbers actually reflected. What did you see out of him tonight? Well, just what you said. You know, I thought he threw the ball very well uh, against a very good lineup, and uh, uh, he, he was in trouble there. He minimized the damage. That's huge, putting a one up there instead of uh, multiple runs. And then, um, you know, when we took him out, um, you know, our most reliable guy, really, Jared Hughes, has, has been so good for us. And uh, he just wasn't sharp, and so a couple of uh, Anthony's runs scored. But, um, you know, that, that's baseball. And um, um, I'm just really happy with the way Anthony threw the ball. Like I said, that right now, uh, this our division has just really become really tough to maneuver through these lineups. Everybody's really helped themselves and become tougher to pitch to. One of the uh, the keys to that inning and holding them to just one run when Anthony was pitching was the throw by uh, Billy. And a lot of people see him make the great catches and steal the bases, but forget how good of an arm he has. And Tucker made a great play on that too. Yeah, and we've we've seen him do that before. Tuck does a great job handling those throws and putting the tag on. He sacrifices himself. He dives in there to the runner. And um, but Billy. Uh, <coughs> You know, he's, he's got to have one of the better throwing arms of, uh, throughout the National League. I mean, he uh, throws the ball well. He throws it accurate, um, throws the ball that it could be cut if it needs to be cut. Um, you know, he's just a uh, gold glove caliber center fielder. Finally, uh, something odd in that second inning, and I'm not exactly sure what they were looking at. Were they saying that... Uh they called a timeout when Suarez left third base, or it looked like the umpire, the home plate umpire, had called time. Well, the, <clears throat> I think the play was so close at first, that, you know, on the possible double play, that maybe there was a uh, possibility that there was going to be, uh, you know, hold up the game to look at the replay, um, the video. Um, I don't know at what point time was called or not. Um, Suarez mistakenly uh, didn't go to third. He came off the field before touching third, and, um, you know, he can't do that. Um, fortunately, time was out, so, you know, it's just kind of a, a lesson learned. Let's not let that happen, you know?